Hello, Cuspers, and welcome to Gemini Soul. This is a reading for Gemini Cancer Cus. Guys, I hope you enjoying your season. You're getting it started. It's ready to go. Guys, this is a crazy message, and I feel like we're going to have some fun with this <laughs> because when I got in your energy, Cuspers, I heard what the heck is going on, what's really going on. So we're going to take a look at your energies, the energies surround you, and, and what then, what the heck is going on? Why is this happening? So if you feel like this is a message that you can use, some of you kind of stressing <laughs> or something of that sort, or you're just trying to figure out what is really happening right now. I feel it could be things moving fast, decisions being made, movement. I'm just seeing a lot of movement. So if you're about to get to moving or all of a sudden things just start happening, you're like, what is really happening? And this is the reading for you. If not, guys, check your sun, your moon, and your rising. Perhaps that's a message for you. I do have Cancer's reading up and Gemini's reading for you, Cuspers. I want you guys to know I love you so much. Thank you for all your support. If anything resonates with you or you just enjoy the energy and this message, just support me by giving a thumbs up. If it doesn't resonate, you can still give a thumbs up, comment below, um, and just let me know that, hey, you're moving forward, you're good, and definitely if it resonates with me, with you, because me too, right? Because I'm a cusper, just in case you don't know. So I just feel there may be a lot of messages that needs to come out at this time. I'm trying to do a quick message for you, just checking in on the energy. But I'm hearing you like, what the heck is really going on? That's what I heard. Okay, so I'm just going to pull messages from different decks and see where you're at. Okay? All right, spirit guys. Give customers the information. Where is their energy right now, spirit guys? What is going on with customers' energy at this time, spirit? What is going on with customers' energy? Under the bottom, you have Lighthouse. Don't doubt your worth. All right. <laughs> Under the bottom, the overall for this reading, whatever is going on, the universe is telling you, Cusper, don't doubt your worth. It's like the painting is on the wall. And this painting that she's putting up on the wall say, I am always enough. Some of you may have felt in the situation you, I'm hearing you weren't doing enough. I don't know. And then some situation making you feel like you need to be doing more. And it's the lighthouse. Don't doubt your worth. Whatever it is, you may be, I don't think I can do this. Or I don't want to put myself into this. Don't doubt your worth. Because you are worthy cusper. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. Some of you may be putting pictures up on the wall. I'm hearing some of you taking pictures down, old pictures no longer serve you, putting up new pictures. Maybe you had too many pictures of other people and now you're looking at yourself and realizing I need to put myself first. I am worthy. So you could be redecorating your house. This is what I'm seeing too. Some of you redecorating, changing pictures. Uh, you could be bringing flowers into the house, uh, just doing something because you're trying to release this power and energy within you. And it's being released. Oh, I'm feeling like, and you got protest, protest, start a revolution. So some of you protesting against something, something you don't like, something you're not with, something that ain't vibing with you and you speaking up like, no, I know my worth. I ain't going, stand down. Right? <laughs> Some of you telling people, like, stand down, this about me. Some of you didn't realize that you've been too much about others, and now you are being about yourself. And you are looking for your happiness, what works for you. Some of you have to look in the mirror and be like, hey, who am I? <laughs> this is what I'm hearing. This is so funny. This energy is so dominant right now. 
So maybe you really stepping into your power. Something's happened. Um, I'm seeing this colorful hair. Some of you didn't change your hair. It's red for the summer. Or maybe it's blonde. It could be any color. Maybe you got a mixture of color going on. Some of you didn't straighten your hair where it's been curly. Uh, you're bringing some color into your life. I said this card is very colorful. You're right. Green could be important right now. Wearing black. Um, some of you just connecting. I'm seeing... Um, um, not only just roses and flowers like a bud blooming, like you're becoming this new uh, person within yourself. I feel there may have been some situations around you and you just feeling like, what is going on? This is what I keep hearing. You asking yourself, what is really going on? What's really going on is you are going through a transformation and this transformation represents you being all you can be. I'm hearing be all you can be. All right. And no doubts, no doubts. And what it is. And even if Cusper, you feel you may be making a mistake or you're not sure. I feel like you just like, guess what? I'm going in. I'm trying this. I'm doing this new. I'm changing my hair color. I've never had it this color. I've never wore this color before. Um, I've never went and bought flowers for myself. Um, some of y'all feel like there are certain things that you had in place for a very long time and you're resetting it. It's a restructure. Someone could be moving in. Someone could be sharing this energy with you and it is a change. And this change feels good is what I'm hearing because it started with you. I feel like there's something you allowing to change naturally. You may be in some type of relationship that is now changing to a very natural, loving, caring situation within your heart, your mind, your soul. You're like, yeah, I want this. But I also feel you still saying to yourself, what is really going on? Like you're trusting yourself and you want to make sure, yes, look at this. You got borage. So it's like you are already you already have all the answers. So whatever this is, this journey you going on is bored. Some of you taking a vacation. Some of you like, look, time out. I'm taking off from work. I'm taking away from family, relationship, friends, whatever. Or some of you just finna get out there and just see what what the offers are, what, what you're gonna encounter. And I feel you're ready for this. I feel like when you get out there. There's some beautiful things, and I feel there's a lot with emotions. I'm seeing yellow. Yellow is sun. It's clarity. It's happiness. We got 34 here, a 3, or 4. It's an 8. I feel like the 8 de definitely represents your emotions, like the 8 of Cups. You know, understanding those emotions that you had, great. I passed it. I got over it. I love all of this, but I need to move forward to my nine of cups. Nine of cups is a wish fulfillment, something that you're taking a void. You're going to find it. And if you haven't found it, you found it, and now you're working through it. You're changing. This is what I'm hearing. Can't help but keep seeing this hair on this person. Like somebody doing something different with their hair. I don't know what it is. Maybe, you know, it's been short. You're making it long. Maybe you're putting some extensions in. You're doing something, but you're feeling good in this, and you know that you are on some type of voyage. And all the answers you need and the direction to go in will come as you, I just feel like you have to venture out. You can't expect for it to come to you, and I think you realize that, Cusper, that I can't wait for this to come to me. I got to go get it, and I'm hearing you being like a go-getter, like, I'm serious. Some vacation is taking place. Some of you done took some money. Like, look, I got my little money, my funds, whatever, and I'm going to do this. You may even be doing something for yourself. Maybe you've been saving money and you decided, I don't have to keep saving like this. I'm good. I'm going to take this and go enjoy myself. Maybe get your nails did, get your feet did, buy your beautiful outfit. It is your season, Cusper. It is your birthday. Do that for yourself. You know, you're not waiting for someone else. You're actually action, action orientated. That's what I heard. Now, we do have the three here. That's celebration. That's joy. That's happiness. It's coming together with others. I think you're going to meet people on this voyage. Uh, and it has to do, it's going from a three to a four, which is stability. It could be your foundation. 
It could be a new journey that you are on. And then we have be your own first priority. Yeah, like it's mutual to be your own first priority. Some of you are in the arts. Some of you are architects is what I heard. Like really, and when I say architect, if you're not really an actual architect, I can't even get that word right. You know what I mean? Like laying it out. Um, um, it's like, uh, what is it? It is um, like drawing a diagram of, uh, 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 of what it is that you want or how you want. Like some of you, look, this, this is her drawing like the home, her castle, uh, the grass, how she wanted to look, right? Male or female, it doesn't matter. But this person here is going to work. Like this, this here be your own first priority. This is what it is you want, how you want your house to look, right? You already redecorate. So you redecorating the way you want it to look. You're fixing yourself up on the outside. Your inside heart is fixed because it is what is driving you like what the heck is going on what's going on is a new you it's a new energy a new inspiration and you putting yourself first and that's what i feel your energy is all about now let's see since the overall is this change in this lighthouse let's see what energy is surrounding you at this time okay let's see what energies can y'all see the cards let me make sure y'all can see it because sometimes you could be in a reading and you can look at the cards and it just has a different meaning for you what's the energies that's surrounding cusper right now spirit because if you know, cusper is on the move and something's got you lit up and got you moving and confident and like you got a new plan i feel like some of you just some of you may be even sitting down and budgeting out your new plan. You're from about home, so you got a plan. You're, you're looking at your finances, or you're looking at where you want to buy a home. You're looking at how you want that home, like manifesting. This is what I just heard. Somebody's manifesting. Some of you customers are manifesting. And if you are not just buying a new home, you are manifesting exactly the energy within your home and how you're going to change it. And you have the cat here, so that's wisdom, wise, protection. It's time. Maybe things have been there for quite some time. We got the energies around you is mirror. Treat your body like the palace it is. I'm telling you. Someone may even be mirroring you or they someone's coming in with that same energy that you got because you showing up like you all that, right? I don't care what size you is, overweight, underweight, middleweight, perfect. If you feel that, you know, not a lot of us feel that way, but if you do, then you go right ahead. But I feel you is inspired. Um let me see. And then you have confidence under that and then you have raindrops. So this energy around you, there is definitely someone around you. And then it says, princess, you can be your own knight. I mean, like you, like I can take care of myself. I could do this on my own or I can invite anyone I want in. And I feel like this confident that you have is a newfound you. Um, with seeing all the birds and the music, like you may be playing music, dancing, just in your energy, enjoying yourself, you're happy, you're doing you, whatever it is. Some of you, I'm hearing like a little sippy sip here, a little sippy sip there, a little dance here. You know, it's okay. Like everything has its place and time in a person's life. And doing it in moderate, okay, be in moderate. Uh, some of you just like, I had a little too much, but I enjoy the energy, the space is like a release. Like maybe you've been so tied up in your mind, Cusper, or some emotional situation or decisions. It's like you finally realize I've got to take a break. Like I've been running to work. I've been doing the same routine or I've been so focused on love or relationships or anything my finances, right? Or uh, maybe you've been working so hard on rebuilding uh, your structure, your foundation, and you just like finna let go. You like feeling free. You want to feel good and relaxed 
We have confidence. It comes with time and practice. I feel like that confidence just came in. You were sitting there and you're like, something got to change. I got to do something. I can't keep sitting here. Like, this is not every day. I'm a nurse. I'm like, you feel like, I feel like, like, you're like, I'm a nerd. I don't do much. I don't go places. You know, I stop uh, really partying. And you like, you know what? I still care about the everyday men thing. Men, what is it? Men day things. But I want to have a little fun. And you're looking out that window and you know it's on the other side of that window. It's not up in here, okay? And then some of you feel like I've decorated. I did all I could within my foundation. I've balanced my, my finances, my structure. I'm good. Some of you realizing I'm good. I can afford to take this trip. I can afford to go on this voyage. I can afford to do whatever. There's something that you realize that you deserve. And this is what you're doing. And I'm feeling like some of you Geminis, you probably have been for some time just sitting back and being patient. And, well, I'll wait till next week or I'll wait for the. But if you look at the bag next to this person that's looking out the window, that's a sword. That's the ace of sword. And that's, can you see that sword on that bag right next to it? That's truth. That's truth. I've been patient enough. And the truth is now in light. You have the sun right there at the side of your face, glooming on the side of your face. And look at this. That sun goes from the side of your face when you realize I got to get up. I got to go. I got to do me. Look at the sun that now it just embodies the whole path behind you. It enlights you. That's that ace of swords. That's that truth. That's that fire. That's that go-getter. I just feel like you're becoming very confident in what it is. And it's, it's like freedom. I feel like freedom. I feel like you've been so barred down. Maybe you've been doing overtime. Maybe you've been saving. Maybe you've been on the grind. And your confidence is like you did it. That's where your confidence needs to let you know it's okay to take a break, Cusper. It's okay. You can go take this break and enjoy yourself. Put it to the side. I'm not saying don't take care of your responsibility because some of you Cuspers are definitely single. And you've been doing these things all on your own. Ooh, I just heard, but not for long. That's what I heard. Y'all may want to accept it or not, because guess what? We got raindrops. Take a chance on them. I don't know. Take a chance on them, okay? I feel like someone is there that you like, you know what? It could be a, fr a best friend or a friend you haven't seen in a while, and you just, you know what? I'm going to take a chance and get out here. And with the, with it being raining under, uh, it's raining and you're under umbrella, I feel like you've been shade, holding in your emotions, protecting your emotions, right? But I feel like this is the time to just enjoy the rain. It's not that it's pain. It's emotions being opened up and shared. And you're definitely sharing it with someone, either your spirit guides you may have a past on a loved one. It seems to be a more elder person. It could be a grandmother, a mother, or auntie. Um, it could just be someone that's very older and wiser that's in your life right now or that you're celebrating with. Uh, you could have not seen your mother in some time and you're just going and have a, a, a mother and daughter day out. Um, this could be a best friend. This could just be someone new that just walks in your life and your emotions are running high. You just enjoying the time with them and um, it just looks beautiful. It looks like a, a time to go out and play. Like play in the rain is what I'm hearing. I'm also seeing who is that? What is that? It was a, a song. Um, I can't, the sound of music, I'm hearing that. I don't know, maybe you like that movie or the song in it, but it's like the sound of music, dancing in the rain. 
I don't know. Some, something has to do with that. I don't know. Maybe it resonates with some, somebody. But that's the energy surrounding you. Someone is right there. They want to celebrate with you. They want to dance with you. Maybe they're celebrating your time with you, your birthday. Uh, something special happened. Some of you, I feel like you have got to a place where you have built an empire. And it took a lot of time and, and energy and space away from people that you love and care about. But you okay now. Like, I've done that, and I'm just going to take a break, right? I do see borage, so you may be adding things to the mix that you didn't even feel that you could do. Like, things are starting to open up or happen, and you're like, man, this feels good. This is the direction I'm going in. That's what I hear. But I also feel like your guides are there supporting you, like, it's okay to step outside of the box is what I'm hearing right yeah it's okay yeah it's okay it's okay to step outside of the box and go have fun it is okay and that's the energy that is surrounding you let's see why is it that the spirit guides are telling you to let loose and step outside the box and enjoy yourself what is this all about spirit what is the purpose of it all spirit what is the purpose of it all for Cusper? Why they need to step outside the box and do this? Forgive. I'm telling you. It's that's a box. You like you didn't grow all you can go. You you didn't grow so much that now you like your time out is in the tub, right? All you do is sit back and relax, but it's forgive. I also feel with this, it's it's a time where you had to connect with yourself and maybe you felt bad because you had to leave. It, it, this card is a 10. 10 may mean something to you, right? June the 10th may something may have happened or July 10th may be something important to you. Perhaps you know something or something will give for you on July the 10th. This energy will be strong at this time. Um, but whatever you've been working on, You've done a great job. Look how much growth. It's like now you got so much that it's like falling off. Like abundance and growth is like falling off onto the floor now. Like because you have so much. And this is probably something you strive for. A position in, in which you want to be in. I'm also hearing forgive. Like whatever you did you may have had to sacrifice or let something go or remove yourself from an energy that wasn't growing and now you just it's out of control you've taken control of a situation you accepted it right you came your confidence became you you started building yourself back up is what i'm hearing after forgiving a situation that perhaps you you had in your life for far too long but you know that releasing that, look at you, right? You got to live in the tub now because the rest, I'm figuring the rest of the house is just full of abundance and love and joy. And some of you spend your time in taking a lot of baths, relaxing, candles, flowers. I'm seeing roses. Some of you may be growing plants at this time. You may have a lot of plants in your house. Some of you, this redecoration in your bathroom, you're realizing, I need fresh oxygen maybe you've been taking baths and candles and maybe you're bringing flowers into your bathroom and and redecorating and, add, and adding flowers or adding some color and roses just because you feel good because you feel good and i feel there may have been a time you may have felt like overwhelmed or trapped because there was some place you were trying to get to. One place I feel was forgiveness, right? Forgiving yourself and others. Uh, and also getting to a place where you feel like you work so hard. And sometimes when you get to a place, you kind of, whether they call it, even when you work out, uh, you get to a place where it's just plateau. That's it. You got to a place where it was plateau. You've done all you do, you could do. You've decorated. You've done everything within you working on yourself. Uh, maybe you've got this home or you have this plan or you have a budget or you, you know, there is something that you have completed and it is time to move forward because you've outgrown it or it's plateaued. 
Like, you know, you like, I've done it. It but it took it wasn't like it just happened overnight. This is something you got the 10 here. So you went through some disappointing times. You went through and this is what the universe, this is where the universe is supporting you at. This is your supporting energy, the 10. The 10 represents the end for a new beginning. Um, definitely, I'm looking, I'm seeing the 10 of Pentacles. Like, the 10 of Pentacles is perhaps there is, you're at a point now where the 10 of Pentacles represents completion. There could be some completion in your life. It could be completion in love. It could be completion in your abundance. And whatever it is, it plateaued. And now you're finna just go on this voyage and take it to another level. And the 10 also represents a time of understanding how uh, you learn from lessons that was, this is what I'm hearing, disappointing to you. I'm seeing the seven of swords. Maybe people didn't show up the way you wanted them to. Maybe uh, there was a time where you put a lot of investment and things just didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. But you're not on that anymore. Um, who was it? Is it Gemini or Cancer? I can't remember. But one of them are on a whole new timeline. And your timeline consists of after the 10. So after the pain, the heartbreaks, the disappointment, the lies, the deception, the healing, right? Four of Swords is healing, being grateful for getting over heartbreaks, third party situations. This is what I'm hearing. Some of you are at this point where you are forgiving yourself for anything that you may feel you didn't handle in a proper way or you handled for too long that you didn't deserve to handle. Okay, or you accepting the fact that some things came on your path to teach you and you've you've understood it. You understand it now. You get it and you're being opened up emotionally, Cusper. So, yeah, we're going into cancer season, Cusper. Yeah, you're grabbing a hold to the heart. You got a hold to the mind. The mind is connected to the heart. The heart's connected to the mind. You're thinking of what fulfills you emotionally, what makes you feel good. So your mind is telling you, we've got to release this energy. We've got to open our emotions up. We got to celebrate. And even if it's just within yourself, some of you, I see you just turning the music on. Maybe, you know, just dance into your own beat. That's what I'm hearing. Dance until you may put on your best suit ever. Some of you may not even have a party or celebration. You are celebrating life within yourself. That is what I am hearing. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's just get... Now, I'm just going to get some messages. And guys, y'all take it as it resonates. But I'm just going to throw out some messages here. And if you see that it fits or it's good for you or you see that for you, take it. Run with it. I see your energy opening up. I see that. I see you're and I'm gonna be in a. If you're not in a happy space, it is coming. And if you are there, the universe is telling you to enjoy it, to enjoy it, and you deserve it. What do we have here, spirit? We have, we have lightning and disruption, and we have butterfly and manna for. Forest, manamorphosis, y'all know. I, I, y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's the butterfly transformation. There was a tower. There was some destructive disruption that happened that pushed you in this direction. I don't know how long you've been on this journey, but I am hearing four years. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you could be more, it could be less, depending on where you at. I'm seeing two, two is meaning a four, stability, foundation, a relationship. That two, two is definitely talking about uh, commitment to yourself, commitment to someone else. I'm also seeing someone seeing you turn into this butterfly, seeing the transformation, how beautiful you are, how far you've come, how much that tower didn't break you. It only taught you and help you to move forward. Um, I'm seeing a lot of yellow. I'm still seeing this yellow, this clarity, this happiness. And I think this is just 
you feeling like you know that you're going through a change, that there's a transformation. And it was after a rough time in your life. And it could have been over four years, four, we got 41, it could have been five years. It was a time where you felt disconnected. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Okay, so the energy surrounding you. So we see, we let that towel go and you're transforming. You're going through it and you're looking beautiful while you're doing it. This voyage, you're changing. All right, the energies around you. We got flamingo. Fun. I cannot, y'all, my spirit guys. Look, this message for somebody. Y'all cannot tell me because for this ain't for somebody because look what else we got. The sunflower. I told you I've been seeing all this yellow. It's blooming. It's, it's growth. It's action. Sunflower says action. You can read it for yourself. Empower this energy. Take it in. Laugh. Enjoy. Have fun. I feel like it's someone there like just loving your energy too. This flamingo and fun. Pink could be important right now. But I'm seeing yellow. Yellow is so dominant in its clarity, its happiness, its fun. It's You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, but Leo seems to be pretty strong. This could be a best friend or someone around you that has a lot of fire in their back. It's like, now I'm saying in their back. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, someone's saying you got your fire back. All right, spirit, make it clear for Cusper. Someone's realizing you have your fire back. You are back. This is what I'm hearing. Cusper is back. Cusper is feeling good. Cusper is looking good. I feel like somebody like, whoa, who is that? You know, I feel like somebody's cheering you on. But I also feel you are having fun with someone with that too. That two is like the two of cups. So whether this is a friend, a, a, a guidance, an angel, a, a ancestors, I feel, ooh, I also feel like they're proud of you. They're proud of you getting back out there and taking this voyage. Like, I feel like you're taking it on. Like, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I don't know where I'm going to. But I got a map here. I may go stop off here and visit this person. I may not. Uh, I might just go, like, connect with nature. You may be finding places where, right, because you have a lot of uh, growth and flowers. And, and then this may be a time that you've been doing that so much that you just connect in for a minute. You're, like, asking your spirit guys, just give me a minute. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing also. And they like, very well, Cusper. Go enjoy yourself. Go have some fun. It's okay. That's what I'm hearing. And you'll get the clarity. And it's just like you've been so patient and things are changing. And that energy around you is fun and action. Whatever this is, it's action orientated. It's positive. It's, it's something you've been waiting for is what I heard. Someone, someone, and not waiting like somebody, I don't see it as the past. Something you've been waiting for to come in your life, it's going to be enlightened to you. And this is what's going to help you to push you forward to really go out and enjoy yourself. You may have somebody around you with a lot of magnetic energy that just want to go, go, go. And the universe is saying, join them. This is what I'm hearing. Join the energy embrace the energy and you're going to feel so good that like this is meant all right the purpose of it okay let's get one out here for the forgive what you forgave and grew and learned and moved forward and acceptance of who you are i just heard you accepted who your your dreams listen is it look what's the purpose comes under forgive oh my goodness the perfect the purpose in your purpose clarifying forgive simply face joy look at this i'm not making it up cusper if you're not here it's there it's it's for the taking it's for you see that hand just take it take it accept it i can't help but feel like we got 30 but we also have a three. And I feel like the three is, is celebration. It's family. It's spiritual guys. It's that higher you. It's that 
Oh, I'm hearing. It's that water. It's that fire. It's that mind. <laughs> I don't even know who that is for. I'm hearing it's that fire. It's that water. It's that mind. <laughs> like all of it is coming to play. And where is it leading you? Simply face joy. And you're taking all that fire, all those emotions, all the mindset. You know, like it's just the confident comes from the mind. The emotions is the sharing and the caring and the commitment that you're feeling with someone or within your, and if this is all energy within yourself, customer, somebody got to be waiting on you. There's something waiting for you and you just can't have all of this to yourself. Don't be selfish. <laughs> That's what I heard. Share it. Someone is sharing it with you. And, and the reason why you should, look at all of those little nails. Guess what they got on it? Sun, yellow, smiles, joy. That's just accepted. And I'm also hearing, Cusper, hold on to it. Don't let, oh, that is, so, I just heard Cusper, hold on. If it is a person and they are fired up, uh, they are emotionally balanced and open to you. I feel like the spirit is like, hold on to it. Cause that what you're holding on to is something that's really going to make your soul feel good within. <sighs> I feel like if you struggle with happiness and indecisiveness, it's about to change. And when it changes, the universe just wants you to know that This is a new beginning. And that you're going to be, and I was just saying that, sharing it with someone. It doesn't have to be a lover, but you'll know if it's a lover in your life. Or if it's a best friend or a soulmate that comes into your life. Or this cusper could just be you finally balancing out. And really being happy with how far you've come and the changes that you've made in your life. That's what I'm hearing. So anyway, the point is, Cusper, the universe is telling you all of this voyage and new you and new found you and this tower and this transformation you went through and the new people or person or guidance that surrounds you is all about happiness and clarity and confidence that you've gained within yourself, which now you're being released from. I'm hearing codependency, toxic behaviors. And it's not like, I feel like these codependency and toxic behavior where you were bringing it on yourself, maybe feeling like at some point in time, you couldn't do certain things because you needed validation. This is no longer needing validation. This is you just being you and finally accepting how you have so much to offer, not just to the world, but to yourself. I don't know who this is for, but the spirit guides are telling me to tell you that overall, that forgiveness that you worked on, that tower you had in the past, led you to a transformation that now has you on a voyage of building and holding a whole empire. Whether it's alone, I do see you with someone twice, right? In the energy around you. You may not be building alone. Two heads are better than one. It looks like that's what I heard. <laughs> I don't know. Why did I just do that accent? That's crazy. Okay, anyway. I don't know. Maybe that has something to do. I just heard in a racial relationship it could be. I don't know why I said that, but it, you'll know if it's yours. Um, yeah. And I also just heard light and dark. Light and dark is being balanced. So if you've been too much, Concerned about the things that you couldn't see, Cusper? Or too concerned about only what you do see and that's the only way you'll go? It's being balanced out for you. You're going to understand. You're going to see. 
Yeah, I just feel like you're balancing out. These twos definitely represents balance. And that just could be your yin and your yang within you within yourself. What do we have? Dice. Chances. Yeah, you're taking chances. Look at that pink. Some of you pink may mean something to you for the summer. Male or female, you know. Um, I also see like when I'm looking at this rear view mirror, some of you saying to yourself, a rear view mirror is exactly what it's for. <laughs> to see the past. And keep going forward, right? You see the past, right? And some of you just like, I feel like you, you, you're looking at it like, man, like I've passed that up before and I'm done. And I also see it as, uh, I'm feeling like, You rolled the dice <laughs> and you took a chance on something. We got 19 here. Hmm. I feel like you're taking a chance on a commitment, Cusper. You're rolling the dice, letting the past stay where the past is, and you're rolling the dice for the future. That's what I heard. And I heard it clearly. All right. Let's see what, what kind of... How long this reading been? Y'all said a quick reading. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I didn't even get no tarot cards out here because I know y'all like this for reading. But I can't help it. This is beautiful energy. Somebody needs to hear it. Guys, if anything resonates with you or you just claiming it, give me a thumbs up. Please comment, share the, if you know any cuspers, share it. This is a lot of spirits like we already so far in. Okay, I'm just going to put them down, guys, and take it as it resonates. I already told you his emotions. We got the fish card here. It's a time of circling, cycling out of the darkness. We have the hyena. Yeah, something. <laughs> somebody may not find you so funny, okay? Somebody might be lurking in the, in the, in the background, but that's because that newfound you. <laughs> they 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 seen that what that transformation there you got you got the butterfly twice you know this is a change and some th this hyena sometimes it seems like somebody just laughing and ain't nothing funny it may be real funny that I left you behind <laughs> that's what be real funny so maybe they need just laugh at themselves right because they see you cycling out of then I feel like there may be some people in the background, naysayers or whatever, and they just laughing about the situation, but they don't even know who you are. You're a beautiful butterfly. But the reason they don't know is because you cycled them out in the darkness, right? Because this, oh my goodness, it's going to be a long read. I, I, I can't rush it because the energy is so high. Look, this is you cycling out of the dark right? You're cycling out and this light becomes lighter and lighter. When it, it, it comes so light that it lightens up the things that <laughs> look how much light comes from that, all right? That you could see this person in the dark that probably didn't wish you no good but that's because they got their own self issues, problems and maybe they thought you leave. Oh, okay, spirits. Okay, they thought you would never make it. You wouldn't survive without them. Ha ha, I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> and you said, and maybe you didn't know, right? Because you had confidence here. And you had to go out on this voyage and start building and doing things for yourself. So guess what? They may have been laughing and thinking it's a joke and you will be back, Cusper. But guess what? I don't think they can laugh now because now they see you as a beautiful, beautiful butterfly transforming and not accepting no mess and sure you probably laugh you know i don't even think you're entertaining that energy anymore i don't even it's in hyena is in the back and it just you know but they're doing that because it's something they're missing and what they're missing is you that's what i heard okay we got the campbell right the campbell is like look i took what i had i got in at the time you felt like I need to preserve my energy. And you did that to transform. And the universe is now like, you know, 
the camel goes out to the desert. What is it? 29, 39, whatever storms, whatever in the darkness, the desert. And, but you worked from within, you kept strong from within. You gave yourself water. You had it when you may have didn't think you had enough emotions or healed enough to get through it, but you worked through it. The camel is strong. The candle can handle deserts. They may have been, it may have been a time where you had to get back on your feet and you didn't have as much as you had, maybe from leaving whoever this person is that thought you was coming back that you definitely don't need now. Okay. And then we got the hummingbird, man. This is like you telling the world, y'all don't know about me. <laughs> Like, I didn't transform. I made it with whatever little bit I had. I can make it through a desert. I can make it through anything. Some of you telling your story. Some of you is singing and singing loud. But the other is, again, this that freedom. This that freedom. This that you. I'm hearing this that you. This that, let me tell you something. I am good. I'm happy. I'm peaceful. I'm, I'm having joy in my life. I'm conquering uh, my own demons. Not your demons, but my own. And that says a lot. When you're able to face your own fears and let them go and stand and be strong, then the universe sends in even more help because you desire it. And, and I feel also the hummingbird is it, you speaking to the universe like, I'm singing, I'm singing loud, I'm singing proud. Y'all hear me. Bring in the joy, the happiness, the energy, the guidance, the support, the celebration, the love, the journey. I'm ready. This is you being ready. Like, if you were never ready before, you were so ready now. And I, 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 that's just what I feel. I, I got to close this out. Look at this, the moth. Oh, they're like a moth to the flame. What is it? Flames of moths to the flame. Whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They can't stop running into your energy. But guess what? You got a shield. Like when them moths go running into the light, what happened? They pop off of it. The dark can't come to the light. Right? So anything that comes your way, the universe is telling you you're protected. They're just running right into that light, get the self stung, you know, and, and just fall itself back. Because you're so bright. I feel like you're so bright. The darkness coming, the light, everything is hitting you. That's, oh my God, I had to wait all the way to the end of the reading. The reading was what the heck is going on? There are energies and people and surges happening with you from within and around you. Um, the laughing hyena that's around you. This transformation you're going through. Swimming your way out of the dark to the light to your own happiness and joy. Do um, uh, you want to know what's going on? You are amazing. That's what I heard. That's what's going on. You have always been amazing, but you are now recognizing that. And the universe says, you sing and you dance and we transform. <laughs> That's it. Like, and just get ready because I also feel like, yeah, there is uh, people going to be coming in, but they ain't going to be able to handle it. And it's going to be so easy for you. Just I don't even feel you have to do anything, Cusper. I feel like when they come in, the universe is, is the protection. That light is the protection. And if they don't belong there, you're going to have dark and light energies coming. But the universe is taking care of this. And you just keep on moving in the light. Keep on shining your light. Keep on enjoying who you are. Accepting yourself. Uh, just enjoy. There's a decision to be happy. There's a decision to know your worth, right? And that's, that's the first card she started out with. It says, Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. And that's where I'm going to end it. This is a change. You, you, The picture, like maybe you've been in the picture. Now you're standing outside of it and seeing everything for exactly what it is. The light, the dark, the beauty, the good, the bad, the journey, the hopes, the fears what you've overcome, how you're moving forward. It's like, it's, it's, it's a new, you got a new dawn. That's what I heard. 
This is so beautiful. So, <laughs> Cusper, what the heck is going on is beautiful. That's what the heck is going on. Keep doing you. Enjoy your birthday. Happy birthday to you. In case you don't know, I'm a Cusper. My birthday is June the 21st. And I know I'm finna empower this energy. It feels so beautiful and wonderful and powerful. This is you standing in your power. And with you doing that, accepting life as it comes. Like we're here for an experience. And customer, you're about to have a beautiful experience. And I do feel there's someone experiencing it with you. If they're not there, and if they are there, you and this person is magical. You're meant to be doing this together. It helps, and you'll know because this person helps your heart to sing. It helps you to want to dance, want to give. It, it helps support your powerful energy. And I feel that you're there supporting their energy also. Love and light, Cusper, and I will see you on your next reading. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye.